Hello everybody, so it is the same night, or the same day that I finished Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and I'm already on to the third one. I took a shower, I ate, um, sorry my hair looks crazy, this is just what it looks like after I dry it, or after it's dried naturally, so I've got the Prisoner of Azkaban, and I'm about ready to go into the den, put on some TV, and just sit and read it. Um, I am really hoping I don't go as quickly as I've been going because I feel like I'm just going through the series, like just flying by and I don't want to do that. I want to really enjoy it, but it's hard. And my mom is actually cleaning the kitchen and she has um, the audible uh, version of the first Harry Potter book, Sorcerer's Stone, and she's listening to it now because she said I've inspired her to reread the series. So, so that's really nice that I've had inspired someone to read. Um, in my house, so this is what I'm starting now. Very excited and ex just happy all over because that's what Harry Potter makes you incredibly happy. So, yeah, I will update y'all probably like I do every other vlog, every 50 to 100 pages. So, but I will talk to y'all later. Hello, everybody. So, I went to go read Harry Potter in the Den. And my mama and I decided to watch the second Harry Potter movie, which I really did appreciate it more because I've now read the books, um, or the first two books anyways. So it was a good movie. I kept like saying, but that wasn't in the book and they reversed this and they did this differently, which I was annoying myself while that was happening, but I couldn't help it because I just, I don't know, I had to. So. Now, I've read one chapter of Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I'm really gonna sit and read it. My mama is gonna sit and read the first one um, physically, with physical copy, because I said before she was doing Audible. And we're sitting here watching Friends on a low volume, because me and her are the same. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna sit and do the rest of the night. It's, I think it's like almost midnight. I wanna say it's almost midnight. Mm. It is midnight. It's 12.30 in the morning. So, but I'm not even a little tired, probably because I slept until 2 o'clock this afternoon, so that's not good. But, okay, I'm going to start reading and quit vlogging, and I will let you, so far, first chapter in, adore the book. J.K. Rowling has that power over people. So, but I will update y'all in about 50, 100 pages. And let y'all know how I think what I think of the book so far if I like it as much as the first two which I'm sure I will and just my thoughts okay hello everyone it is two in the morning and I feel like I need to go to sleep but I also feel like I need to read Harry Potter I really really want to read the order of Phoenix I got 50 pages in, which I'm disappointed with. I was hoping I would get at least 100. Did not happen. So many distractions, so many things to do tonight because I have done nothing the past two days but read Harry Potter. So I had to do some stuff today. Had to do things that people do in their life. And therefore, I did not read as much of the Order of Phoenix, or the Prisoner of Azkaban that I wanted to. Did I say Order of Phoenix while ago? Sorry, all these book titles are like completely going. I'm reading The Prisoner of Azkaban right now. And I really, really want to go to sleep because I keep going to bed at 6 in the morning and waking up at 2 p.m. in the afternoon and that is just not healthy. And I don't know. But I also can't sleep because I keep thinking about the book. I really already have so many questions. I'm so addicted. I want to know what happens. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know about Sirius Black. I want to know why Cornelius Fudge did not like expel Harry for using magic. I want to know how he's not going to be able to go to that village that wizards are allowed to go to in this book and I hope that he does get to go. I just have so many things that I need answered and it's only 50 pages in and I know that if I continue reading I'll have more questions and then I won't be able to stop reading it until my body tells basically says stop like it did last night. 
but we might just have to do that again because I can't quit thinking about it. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes trying to sleep. I'm still awake, more awake than what I was before. I said, Lindsay, go to sleep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, read. It's decided. I'm gonna read. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Hey guys, so it is 3.30 in the morning and I'm still awake, I am still reading. I'm on page 74 of The Prisoner of Azkaban. Let me actually put a bookmark in this really quickly. Don't know why I didn't do that before I started. Um, so anyways, I absolutely love this so far. There's so much intrigue and mystery and oh my gosh, it's just crazy. So, um, but I wanted to kind of just say something real quick. Like I have found that I really have been enjoying vlogging. And I think that even when I'm not reading a Harry Potter book, because I do tend, I read a lot. So, um, even like, let's say tomorrow I wake up and I want to read the Six of Crows or I want to read Turtles All the Way Down or something like that. Or one of my literary classics, like, um, I don't know, what do I have up there? Moby Dick. Um, that I might just vlog every time I read or vlog every time I don't read. Because I don't read every day or anything, like... So, but I really enjoy vlogging and I think it's kind of fun to do and I might just add daily vlogger to my channel because it's just been something that I've just enjoyed so much and I think it'll be really cool like in five years if I'm like, what was I doing a couple years ago and I can just look on my YouTube channel and see what I was up to and it's just nice to have, I think. And I'm obsessed with vloggers like it's Judy's Laugh and the Sicoli Jolies and you know, I just absolutely love watching vlogs. So I think that is something I'm going to take up is daily vlogging. Um, I will tell y'all, I wanted to talk about this earlier, that I am having a hip surgery at the end of November. It's a pretty severe one. I'll be in rec recovering for six months. It's going to be a long recovery, painful. And I'm also starting my Crohn's treatment Tuesday, I think. I think. We're starting it Tuesday. I go to see my Crohn's doctor Tuesday, and I'm pretty sure we're starting the treatment. And this treatment is incredibly painful. It makes me, it'll make me very sick, um, just all of that. So I am going to try to keep up with the, my channel the best that I can. It's new. I just started it and everything, but I don't know how much I'll get done, like the day I have my operation or if I'm having a bad day with my treatment. I don't really know so but I just wanted to throw that out there that I think daily vlogging will be something that I'm gonna start doing um, but I don't want to say hey I promise I'm gonna daily vlog and then have my surgery and like not upload for maybe a day or two but um, yeah I just wanted to talk about that I guess but I'm gonna continue reading I want at least to get to 100 pages I know I said earlier that I was gonna go to sleep but that did not happen so <laughs> I am going to try to get to 100 pages stop and maybe maybe try to sleep a little bit we'll see we'll see so I'll talk to y'all later afternoon Bye. it is one o'clock and yes I just woke up I didn't go to sleep until like 4 a.m. which is still better than 6 a.m. But I did sleep very good, and I'm happy about that. So I am starting to wake up, and the first thing I want to do is read Prisoner of Azkaban. I got pretty... Hold on. Ooh. Um, uh, where's my book? Mm, that's giving me anxiety. Oh, okay. It's right here. <laughs> I got, oh, that was my hip, it pops a lot. Um, I got pretty far, I got over a hundred pages, just a little over a hundred pages into the book last night. So I'm proud of that because I didn't think I was going to get that far. I really wanted to, but I thought I was only going to get to 50 pages, so. But I was able to push through and, well I didn't have to, I was pushing through because I was exhausted, not because I didn't want to read, but. Yeah, so I'm going to start, and I'll just keep y'all updated with how far I've gotten. i got to take my medicine first and get something to drink. 
and then I'm sitting down and doing nothing but reading today. Hopefully. We all know how easily I get distracted, so we'll see. <laughs> okay. Hello bye. everyone, so it is like I think 2.30 and I have not sat down and read like I wanted to because I told y'all that sometimes distractions all the time. Distractions happen, but I have sat and read a little bit more. Um, I'm just like really intrigued with this book. I want to just sit and just completely get into it, but I also think that I kind of have read so much the past few days that it's like getting kind of like maybe I need a break, but I don't want to take a break because this has just been so good. But um, I'm on a part right now where Draco's like being a big baby because one of Hagrid's um, in his Hagrid's first class, one of the animals bit him or something, and Draco's being a big baby about it, but Hagrid just yelled at Harry for being out at night because he said he's in danger, and it got really intense, and I'm not used to Hagrid yelling at Harry, so that was weird, but I'm on the seventh chapter. This is about the Bogart in the wardrobe. I don't know what any of that means. I will find out, though, and yeah, but that's just my little update. Hopefully I can start to really get into the book. But if I don't today, I don't. I want to slow down anyways on the series. I feel like I'm just speeding through it, so. But I can't help it. It's just so much I want to know. So yeah, but I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so I'm about ready to take a bath. And yes, I do take baths a lot because like, I don't know, it's just a place where I can just sit and relax and I don't feel good right now. You can't tell I look like really bad, but I feel really, really bad. But I'm wanting to read still, help distract from the pain that I'm in. I'm in a lot, a lot of pain right now um, with my hip. And then I'm having a really bad Crohn's day, just a lot of abdominal pain and just like a lot of pain. So I'm going to sit and try to relax in the very warm, warm tub and read a chapter or two in here. I can't stay in here too long, I've noticed, because... It gets me really, really, like, sleepy, and then I want to go to sleep, so, but, anyways, just wanted to give a quick update. I will let y'all know I've just been reading this book a lot slower than what I have the first two, which I'm happier about, because I do not want to just go through all of this, but I am wanting to sit down and just have a good, solid, you know, few chapters of uninterrupted reading so that's what I'm about to do so I'll update y'all later we are testing hello everybody so it is eight o'clock at night and I have read half of my prisoner of Azkaban book today I am gonna go ahead and upload a vlog today just because I want a daily vlog like I said in the uh, previous clip so I am uploading today. I don't know. I probably will read more tonight, but right now I'm going to sit, eat some dinner. My brother, I bought him for his birthday, uh, Seasons 9 through 15, a family guy, and a quagmire shirt that says giggity on it. So he wants to sit and watch some episodes of Family Guy, so that's what I'm about to do. And I probably won't sleep much tonight, to be honest, because I'm very nervous. This is my first Crohn's appointment tomorrow morning. I've got to drive quite a ways away to get there. My mama's taking me and I'm nervous because I've heard the treatment is just god awful and that I'm going to be really sick and in a lot of pain. So I'm just kind of, I'm, I have a feeling I won't sleep tonight. I have a feeling I'll be very anxious and just not being able to sleep. So I have a feeling I might be able to finish The Prisoner of Azkaban tonight. It just depends on if I'm in a reading mood is really what it is all depending on right now because I have read so much these past few days so I might be in the mood to read later but I will vlog me going to my appointment tomorrow just to talk a little bit maybe it'll help me with my nerves but that is all for now and I'll probably vlog later tonight but I just wanted to give you all a little update about what I was doing I'm actually about ready to eat ravioli <laughs> show y'all like this. I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese on it and we've got some garlic bread. And I'm super excited because it sounds so good. And this actually does not hurt my stomach, which a lot of people are surprised about, but it really doesn't hurt me that bad. So 
I am going to go and eat with my mama and watch Family Guy with my brother who is over there. He doesn't care. Okay. I'll saw y'all talk to y'all later. Bye. So I'm now sitting in my bedroom and I have read quite a bit. I've got that much left of the book, just this much. So it's really, really good so far. This is by far the one that I've been most addicted to, like needing to know answers and just not being able to put it down. So I am finishing this tonight. I am pretty sure of that. Um, it is just so good. I can't not see myself finishing it tonight. So, oh my God. But I just wanted to give a little quick update. I am almost to 300 pages and then I only just have a hundred, about a hundred left. So should not be too much longer before I'm done. I really would like to get it done before midnight, but I don't know if that'll happen, but I'll let y'all know. And then I can't decide after I'm done reading this if I'm going to start Turtles all the way down or go ahead into the fourth book, The Goblet of Fire. We'll see how I feel. Right now, it's been all Harry Potter. All the way. So, but I just thought I'd give a quick update and I will let y'all know. Hopefully the next time I update, I'll either be almost done with the book or done with the book. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Hello guys. It is almost one in the morning and I have officially finished The Prisoner of Azkaban. It was so so good. I absolutely loved it. This was my, this is my favorite book thus far. It was so amazing. Oh my gosh. It was so amazing. And I'm just so happy with how, well, I'm not, ex I like wish everything would have tied in a perfect little bow and everything and every, you know, all would have worked out, but there were some loose ends, some things happened that were, wasn't exactly the plan, but I'm still, overall pleased with how it ended. It was a great, great book. And now, next is The Goblet of Fire. So this ends this vlog. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I will start this one. I don't know if I'll start this one tonight. I might be starting it tomorrow. We'll see. But I will talk to y'all later and see y'all in tomorrow's daily vlog. Bye.